Welcome back to the Fair Sports Update. Joined now by good friend uh, to the program, good friend of myself personally as well, photographer for Fair State Athletics, Kevin McDermott. Kevin, thanks for joining me on the show today. Uh, it's an honor to be here, Harrison. I'm going to hit you with a fastball right away. Is there a moment that you've captured in Fair State Athletics history that stands out to you as maybe the top one? I know it's really hard to choose because there have been a lot of them. Yes, uh, I do have a favorite, and that is uh, at the uh, national finals, basketball finals, championship win. Uh, that was probably the most surreal experience of my life. There. Obviously, we get to take a look at this and the confetti coming down and everything, this great picture right. of Coach Brankema, and then the, the one of Noah King as well. I mean, those are, we got those framed up here in our building. It, it, it was very unusual because I've, obviously I've done many, many events. And I remember sitting in my uh, hotel room before this game, before going to the arena, feeling extremely nervous. And I never had that experience before. And it hit, just hit me that this is such an important event in Ferris history that people are going to be looking at this for the end of till the end of time. As long as there's a Ferris State University here, um, the first championship is is always going to be the most special. And um, it it's it's. It's hard not to take a good photo when all of that is going on around you. How many people you have to elbow to get in just to get this shot? Well, that's, that's, that, that was an interesting thing. The, right before that, I was on the baseline, and there was a, someone from the NCA who came along and told all the photographers that you could not, they'll tell you when to go on the floor. And I remember talking to uh, uh, the guy next to me, and I said, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and sure enough, I, as soon as the, the shot was missed by Northern and uh, the confetti started coming down, I was right in the thick of it. Obviously, uh, you, you've also been a big supporter of, of all Bulldog athletics, but in particular, what is it, 103 straight football games that you've made? 100, 103. Um, I started the first, Tony, Tony Anissa's first game. I just happened to be my first game. And yeah, it was 103. Um, and it's just been incredible. And uh, I, I have to say, that uh, anything, if, if, if people enjoy my, my work and, and uh, I admire my streak of 103 games, I owe a lot of this to my wife, Bonnie, uh, because without her support, uh, I would not have been able to do any of this. Obviously, uh, when you're a photographer, you catch everything in still motion, and, and we've looked at a couple of these photos. There was one in particular in the national championship game in football, Keandre Craig's in yes. the end zone, and it was such a strange play. The ball's bouncing around. How do you feel like you managed to get in position for some of these moments? Because you never know what's going it, to happen. It's all about anticipation. And the ball is, I believe, on about that. There it is right there. And... I believe the ball was on about the 30-yard line, and I got myself in the end zone. And I figured, I figured that uh, J. Rowe was going to be thrown to Keandre. So I just followed Keandre, and then the ball got knocked back out of bounds, back into his hands, and uh, that was the result. And what I love there is the eyes that he can't believe it any more than anybody else can and I, I I think that's great for your contributions to Fair State Athletics obviously you were named the Pete Peterson Pride Award yes. winner a few years ago now right um, to you I mean what does it mean to be a part of Fair State Athletics I, I know winning an award is nice but um, I know you're more focused on just being a part of the crew with us well it is um, the what I, to be a part of such 
a professional organization uh, is, is just such an honor. And I, I always think about uh, Tony and Nice on signing day in February. He ends every uh, announcement of the new recruits, recru recruiting class. He ends every presentation with thanking Rob and the athletic department for having the best social media in, in Division II. And like Tony, I go, I scour other Division II's uh, uh, social media sites just to see what, what the, what's going on. And I have to say, hands down, it's, it's, there's no contest. And as I said, to be a small part of that, uh, of what is done here, is, is just such an honor. Well, Kevin, obviously, uh, I know we're looking forward to getting back to uh, having a sporting event here at Ferris State. Um, I guess for you, what's that moment going to be like when we finally get to get back somewhere where you can shoot a photo and capture a moment? Well, it's, it's going to be something, I think, going to be very sweet. Uh, I think when you take away something that means so much to you and you're able to get it back, uh, if it's possible, you appreciate it even much more. I just miss being on campus. I miss interacting with the students, the student athletes, the coaches, uh, and that's the big part of what I've missed. I will say they put this photo up of Jerry Van Warmer scoring the NCAA yes. tournament goal against St. Cloud. I would say that's a personal favorite of mine. Yes. Uh, I've got that one up in my, up in my uh, home office right now. Right. It's, uh, it's a photo that it was one of my first big broadcasts where in the NCAA tournament against right. a team that everyone picked. I think 25 experts picked St. Right. Cloud to win, and this is the overtime winning goal for us against a guy that's played a lot of NHL games. So. Well, that if I could say, I, I, I got myself up on the where the TV cameras were. I don't know if I was supposed to be there or not, but I knew that setting up for overtime that that this was the place to be. And I just just focused in right on the net and Worms did his thing. Well Kevin, thanks for joining us here in the Fair Sports Update. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for another episode of Fair Sports Update. Remember, you can tune into FerrisStateBulldogs.com and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Ferris Athletics for more information.